Hello and welcome to episode 7 of How to Beat Digital Distraction and Write More. My name is Andy Tattersall and I'm an Information Specialist at the School of Health and Related Research at the University of Sheffield. So in this series of short podcasts, I'm going to help you deal with this problem of digital distraction and information overload. And we're going to help you write more, hopefully. This particular issue, we're going to look at that most common of problems, that being writer's block. At some point in your um, academic career, uh, you may find yourself hitting that wall and struggling to get words onto paper. And, but don't worry, because it happens to the very best writers. And there are many reasons for this. It might be that you've got other issues going on. It might be that you're feeling ill. It might be personal circumstances that need your attention. There are certain times when you have just got to leave your writing for the day and return to it when you're in a better place. For the majority of writer's block issues, they are there are solutions out there. And, um, and I'm going to give you a few, hopefully. Firstly... If you're being distracted and you need to address that distraction, uh, remove it. And if that distraction is your office and it's the environment, then you could ask people to be quiet, you could wear headphones, or maybe you could just go and work in another space whilst you tackle that writing problem. Um, as part of this, I have created uh, podcasts that focus on digital distraction and um, that could help you if distraction comes calling from technology, such as email and social media. But the, the second reason might be that you really do not know what to write or you're lacking confidence. And a good thing to do is have a discussion with those who can help you. And that may be colleagues, peers, your supervisor. Um, and what you need is a fresh pair of eyes just to look at that work. And that's sometimes that's all you need to get over that hurdle. The next problem might be as simple that you're missing key knowledge for your argument. And the first thing to do is seek out that knowledge and pay a visit to your library. Speak to a librarian and discover if there are any useful databases or resources that can help you find valuable information. Writing um, can at times feel too easy and that you can just end up with pages and pages of scribbled notes and typed text. And quite often it sometimes can feel half formed. So the best way around that is to structure your writing and put it in headings and subheadings and this leads on to my next tip which is that you start by putting in some headers and work from there and that will start that will stop you from writing too much in in one section uh, and then having the terrible problem having to cut back on the text afterwards which is as much a problem sometimes as trying to write the text actually trying to take out the text feels even harder so once you've put in your headings and subheadings you can start to fill them out uh, with text um, and there's a saying that um, you cannot see the wood from the trees. And I think by creating this framework of headings, you create paths uh, and a process that, that would allow you to get through these dense forests of text that you sometimes can get lost in. So by putting in these headings and subheadings, you can work down and start to get that piece formed out much easier. The next tip will help you if you're struggling to get your writing project off the ground. And if you're truly stuck with writing those first few words, um, then it can be a bit of a problem. So if you're really struggling to generate text on your topic, consider writing and creating a mind map. Mind maps are really very useful and they're very easy to make. And there's plenty of resources out there to help you. But all you really need is a pencil and a big sheet of A3 paper. Start with your central idea and then start to build branches off it. For example, your question might be, is the internet democratic? So from that central bubble, you can start to branch off into topics like fake news, trolls, political activism, freedom of speech, so on and so forth. And before you know, you've started to get your headings and your subheadings and areas that you need to write about. From each of these branches, you can then start to expand outwards into other related strands. And before you know it, you're going to have a collection of headings and subheadings from which you can start to write. If your problem is that you've got way too many ideas and that uh, you don't know what to do, you're feeling overwhelmed, then perhaps you'll need to shelve some of them until you've got the time to properly address them. So 
If you try and tackle too many ideas at the same time, you're going to run the risk of creating a half-finished work or just get yourself tangled up in some theoretical mess. So remember that each idea that you try and work on could spore further ideas and therefore more distraction from your core writing task. So ensure that you don't overstretch yourself. Make a note of those ideas and work through them systematically at an appropriate time. Whatever you do, pace yourself and take time to think about your writing. With proper supporting research, the words will flow. So hopefully that's useful. My name is Andy Tattersall and you can hear more of these podcasts to help you write more productively and carry out your research on the page where you found this podcast with the links. Thanks a lot.